Okay, I'm in the uh, the park, amusement park, and there's some dilapidated buildings here. It used to be a shed, I guess, or I don't know what for could be. Uh, oh, it is. It's an uh, outhouse. It's an outhouse. Or somebody. Yeah, it's an outhouse. Okay, now, as we scan, there's my car, and there's the amusement park, the haunted amusement park, Lake Shawnee. And this is a pond. They said there are a couple, a couple of kids drowned here. I don't know if this is the pond they drowned in, but here's the park itself. It looks kind of creepy from a horror movie. Okay. Here's the clown. Enter the clown. And you'll get a bucket of water dropped on you. And here is the ticket booth to go into Lake Shawnee Amusement Park. Look at that. I'm the only one here and I just talked to the guide he couldn't make it but there's gonna be a lot of people in here uh, at night it's popular during at night so quite abandoned it's a lot of uh, there's a Winnebago over there. A lot of trailers here. Here's a river. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking. I located some skulls, four of them. And supposedly they came out of here, Lake Nightmare. I think this was the haunted house that they had. Lake Shawnee, there's nothing here. Oh yeah. Oh. Here it is. Oh yeah, it is a haunted house. When you go in this maze thing. Like, okay. So this was their haunted house. Oh, here's some scary stuff here. Oh, look at that. I wonder if those were the kids that drowned. Lake Shawnee. There's something going on with her. Are you okay? Did you die from the COVID-19? There is a mummy. So this is a Halloween haunted house. Oh, an electric chair. Oh, check that out. Oh. That's where they strapped the monster in. Okay, I'm gonna go go back out again. Oh, 
Oh my God, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, here's a huge skull. It's the skull picnic ground. And here's the lake. That's Lake Shawnee. And I see the Ferris wheel from here. So we're gonna approach it right now. There's the amusement park. Up on the right is the Ferris wheel and the left is where the swings are. So I have to get around here. I'll have to figure out how to get there. Kind of eerie. Oh wow, look at that. Holy crap, that's the Ferris wheel. It's so full of foliage, you can't even, you can't even see it. And the uh, swings are behind. So I'm gonna walk around and get closer. There it is up close. Oh God. It's straight from a horror movie. Now this fair has really entertained people for close to 40 years. They built it in the 20s, 1925, and then closed it in 66. So more than, yeah, about 40 years, yeah. So this hasn't moved. Look at that, uh, plants growing on growing on the uh, cars itself. You can't even get in here, it's so full of uh, weeds. And over there is the haunted swing. Here's one of the cars with a Ferris wheel. Now, there's no reported deaths on this Ferris wheel. But these are the only two attractions. Here's the Ferris wheel and the uh, swing. Here's some barrels. I don't know what they were used for. They look like turrets. And here is the ancient ticket booth. You can buy your tickets to board that. That contraption there. Get your tickets now. There's some dolls in there. Holy cow. This is what rides it now, stuffed animals. The seats has since been, you know, were made out of wood and since it fall, fell out. So this is the only ones, these are the only ones with the wood, the uh, seats still left. You can tell they're all gone. Oh, look at that. There's the Ferris wheel in the background. Wow. I bet this would look cool in the fall, but right now it's, or in the, in, in the spring, in the winter time too. It's calm and serene here, so quiet. I'm the only one expecting uh, a group of people coming in here. So, kind of good so I can get a lot of things here. It kind of uh, makes this place more eerie. This, I don't know what the story on this van is. Well, they used to have paddle boats here, but no one seems to want to go to this uh, amusement park anymore. It's not amusing anymore with the death of those children.
so it just is nature is taking it back this place beautiful view of the mountains over there now it's said that if you watch closely some of these swings will move by itself and they say it's the ghost of the children the child uh, I think it was a, a girl that got killed nearby these swings and here's the engine that rotated it All this is all that's left. Okay, there's something moving there. It's freaking me out. It's not supposed to be doing that, is it? It's it's alive. It's alive. This may be the tractor that killed that little girl, that backed into that little girl by the swings. And I don't know what the significance of this school bus is. It looks pretty creepy. Oh, thank you. I'll, I will get on. Wow. Looks like somebody's home. Check that. Oh, it's got a, even got a microwave oven. It's got money. Uh, weeds. It's naughty. The witching. Here's the bunk beds, some toy soldiers, and nice TV to watch movies in. Oh, it would have been roomy this place, would have been so roomy. Addictive food disorders. Oh. Look at this old VC, VHS machine. Remote controls. This has been a really good home. Sounds good. I've been communicating with Chris, the uh, owner of this place. He told me that you this used to be uh, this used to be a pool. They call it cement pond, and this is the actual place where the boy the boy drowned. Right here. It doesn't look very inviting now, but back then it was it was nice. But this is where he drowned. So Chris told me there was a tombstone near by the by the uh, Ferris wheel. So I'm gonna go back there again and see. Now it has been confirmed that this is the actual site where the Indians slayed the two clay kids, Bartley and Tabitha. And this is uh, about a, a few, uh, about 50 yards from the, uh, from the Ferris wheel. So this is the actual spot, not the one, not the one where I, where the plaque is at, on the other side. So, and uh, the, uh, Amusement park is right down there. I had to walk over here and Chris showed me where it was. Okay. 
I pretty much looked at everything here and very interesting place so I'm gonna leave I'm gonna go to a ghost town called Thurman and it's up north of uh, Virginia or uh, what uh, West Virginia so well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next adventure